Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. The Daily Graphic this morning says President Hill's NAPCO trainees for sterling performance. Ghana makes progress in poverty reduction but inequality between rich and poor widens. Nigeria, Benin, border closure. Ghana secures temporary corridor. The front page of the Ghanaian Times. Three cops interdicted for beating slashing man with machete to death. President rallies public support for fight against climate change and Upper East floods. Death tolls reach 29. Police grab eight suspected armed robbers. The Daily Guide. Ofosuan for fights leaked tape. Togwe Shito charged over beauty queens and Kofor wades into CSE debate. Ministers in Nigeria over trade blockade. Prioritize NAPCO trainees, according to Nana Dodanko Kofor. The Finder newspaper, employ NAPCO trainees first. President tells module, uh, tells module implementation partners. Chiefs, religious leaders, Lord President Kofuado for life-changing initiatives. GIJ seeks support to build digital hub for students. And inflation drops to 76 in September. My guest this morning, the Honorable Member of, for, um, of Parliament for Tamale North Constituency, the Honorable Alaji uh, Suhini and uh, Reza Richard Asante, who also speaks uh, on behalf of the MPP and uh, his government spokesperson on infrastructure. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Richard, Good morning. the best condolences to you. Uh, you, are, you are a full citizen now. <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother. <coughs> I think uh, I'm also grateful to my friends in the media, the New Patriotic Party, mm. and some great friends in both sides of the divide, uh, MPP and NDC, who came in for the one week celebration of my father to pay their condolences. So, I sit in the process. Mm. I'm extremely grateful to all of them, mm. including the Vice President of the Republic and uh, um, a good friend and Akumi and all those individuals who have reached out to me in this moment of uh, sorrow. But I think that it ought to be a celebration of life. I mean, mm. I'm sure my daddy lived a life uh, well. I mean, he was over 100, 101. Mm. And I think that uh, I mean, God will grant him a safe passage into okay. uh, uh, the, the, to the heavens. I mm. think uh, yeah, I'm gr grateful to everybody. Okay. So, Eli, how's the Friday going? Oh, okay. well, we give God the glory. We thank him for another uh, day, and mm. we hope that it's going to end in praise. And let me uh, once again extend my heartfelt condolences mm. to Richard and the family, and uh, uh, to all those who are in our club. Uh, that is <laughs> those of us who have lost. Uh, he, he just uh, joined us. Yes, he lost yes, his father recently, yes, yes, so he's, yes, yes, he'll be and, fine. And he was lucky to have him until one hundred and one. Yes, yes. yes. Sometimes we wish you still had them around to see the fruits of their labor, mm. but. Mm. Allah knows best, and we hope that they are resting well in the bosom of the Lord. Don't worry, Richard, we'll, we'll mentor you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come for classes. I hear you. So yesterday, Sweeney, your, your side um, issued a press statement that yeah. suggested that there's uh, a new twist to the PDS thing, and that um, we're getting some more, uh, if you like, skills input on our eyes because of what is presently happening. What, what exactly is your case? Well, let me say good morning to our viewers and good morning, especially to the very good people of the Tamale North constituency. Mm. Um, Johnny, I think that um, this PDS matter needs to be broken down for people to understand the state capture mm -hmm. that is at stake in this whole transaction. And for me, the way the government is going about it mm -hmm. lends credence to the fact that it is not only corrupt, but it is also clueless and it is dishonest. Mm -hmm. Johnny, what has happened to the government directive that PDS was suspended? Was it just to deceive us all to go to sleep? Or was PDS really suspended? Was it not? Didn't they subcontract ECG to, to do for them? Go to their offices. Talk to workers. 
talk to people who deal with ECG on a daily basis. PDS is still very much in control of everything, day-to-day -day affairs of ECG. So what happened to that suspension? What was the nature of that suspension? Has that suspension been lifted by government? Mm -hmm. To the best of my knowledge, no announcement has come to that. Okay. To the contrary. I mean, no announcement has come to say mm -hmm. that we are, we are revoking the suspension mm -hmm. that we invoked the last time. Mm -hmm. Yet PDS never even went on suspension by the workings of ECG. So what was the purpose of that announcement if it was not to deceive? And that's the dishonesty I speak of. And all the conditions precedent mm -hmm. in the agreement, mm -hmm. clearly, by all the reports that are available, mm -hmm. have consciously been violated. Consciously. And that is enough reason mm -hmm. for the whole contract to even be terminated. Yet, you have the government, because of very unholy interest, mm -hmm still trying to make something good out of a very terrible situation that many of them are embarrassed about but are unable to speak out. Government says the new company that you say is in, interested in this or is stepping in the Meridian power is actually, uh, was actually around, around the same time the, uh, the agreement was signed earlier in March. And so you're, you're crying wolf about nothing. You see, we have laws in this country governing almost everything mm. and when it comes to transactions some of the provisions are in our constitution mm -hmm. and the requirements that have to be met okay. before certain transactions are considered legal or otherwise mm. so you had a government of ghana bring miralco mm -hmm. to parliament of ghana okay and through the Parliament of Ghana, told the people of Ghana mm -hmm. that they were entering into a concession with this company, mm -hmm. with a set of conditions mm -hmm. that each party, ECG, representing the government of Ghana, mm -hmm. and Miracle had to meet. Now, like I have stated, all the conditions by the reports that we have mm -hmm. have consciously been violated. In the first place, that is enough reason for the contract that was approved by Parliament mm. to be set aside. The government says, we, Secondly, saw, we saw it, that's why we investigated. Sec and that's why I said, their own invest. what has happened to the FTI report? What was contained in it? Mm. What were the findings? Why is government not saying anything about the FTI report? Why, if they are conscious about actually correcting the thing mm. and not just blinded by corruption and the interest to state capture, they will be implementing corrective measures mm. Parliament. as a result mm. of the FTI findings. Now, aside of the violation of the conditions precedent, you also have a new entity being introduced and known to the people of Ghana. Because remember that the contract was between a named company mm -hmm. approved by the Parliament of Ghana. So if you are introducing a new entity, what is right is for you to come before the people of Ghana through mm. the parliament again mm. to make a case for the new company. So, so you don't you, go and vary it. The law doesn't allow you. So to. for you, you want to know what Meridian means to the restructured PDS. Is exactly. that correct? Exactly. And so, you see, our point is that, and if you remember, Johnny, when this matter first came up, when the minister, mm. I remember, no meaner person, but the minister of energy mm. announced the fraud they had, detect, they had detected in this deal, right. and we held a press conference. Mm -hmm. We already hinted that we had seen certain moves suggesting to us that government was negotiating behind the scenes to change the shareholder structure. Mm -hmm. And cautioned at that press conference, you can go back and, 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 and review it, that it was going to be against the law, and we were not, we were not going to you know, countenance that. So if you thought we were just blowing hot air, the latest development confirms 
what we were saying. We and headed? it then tells me we are headed, we are headed towards a state capture. There is a conscious effort by the president's cousin, in this case the Minister of Finance, and mm. other players in the industry to annex ECG as either a family or party property. Is that, that is where we are is headed. Is that not too wild an allegation to make? That is where we are headed. But I mean, if it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's obviously a duck. Okay, Richard, step in for me. Uh, the NDC is fingering you in this latest deal, and they're saying, look, you said you saw wrong, you investigated, you published a report, and the report is not yet implemented. In the meantime, the PDS that's supposed to be under suspension is collecting some $8 million every day. And that is not right. Are your hands so tied that you can't untie yourself? What is happening? Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, my brother. I think uh, the difficulty we have as a country is the way we marry politics into virtually everything, thereby concealing the truth from the general public. Mm -hmm. And that has been the, the major difficulty, because the point is that one thing they ought to undo the other mm. so that at least he can win the hearts and minds of the ordinary voter. So even when there are lies, people will try and, and, and sort of uh, mm. package it and present it as the truth, when indeed they know exactly what ought to be mm. the, 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 the truth. These are the, the basic facts. We all know that PDS assistance that has been suspended. Mm. But we, we, prior to that, uh, right after the suspension, a letter came out from ECG indicating that because the, the, the chunk of the assets and other things were already in the hands of PDS. Now PDS is sort of working under ECG. So you ECG, so no, no, a PDS is no longer taking any money. Okay. It is rather ECG that is taking any m monies from the general public. Mm. That ought to be the issue. Because the point is that if a company, let's assume that TV3 mm. is currently running uh, this uh, place. And all of a sudden, we say that TV3 no longer runs this company. A new entity is taking over. You do not expect that within a matter of minutes, and this is a, a, a strategic national asset, you're looking at power, mm. that within a matter of minutes, everybody sacked, new people are recruited, and all this. So those things could not happen. It's been so more you, than three months, of, So, uh, no, I'm coming. So Maybe that is more. Why the, that's why the, the suspension is still uh, in full force. But see, the issues that are being spoken of, we ought to understand this. For me, I'm not a spokesperson for uh, 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 PD, PDS, and I'm not mm. a spokesperson for Miracle. Mm. I'm, I'm Deputy National Communication Director okay. of the MPP. Okay. But these are basic facts. Okay. As far as uh, 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 September 26, mm. 2019, mm. We, have, we have Joy FM okay. and, and, and my Joy Online doing a story and giving details of those who own the various components of the, the, the concession and how much percentages that various companies are holding. And they gave specific answers to who is holding what. And I'm sure you can go to that story and also mm -hmm. read for yourself. But you see, and I think I will not want to read the entire thing, but I'll read the portion. <coughs> That's it. That PDS is a consortium between Morocco through Meridian Power Ventures Limited. That is 30%. Angola-based firm, Energy SE, 19%. Mm. And three Ghanaian firms, namely TG Energy Solutions, 18%, and T, a GT, a GTS Energy Engineering Ghana Limited. Mm. The essence of what the portion that I read of this uh, reportage okay. is that to give you the perspective that even this new thing that they talk about, mm. which there's no evidence to that effect, well, there's no virtually no evidence. What we've seen being circulated by the NDC is an A4. A, a paper mm. with somebody typing something on it, not even on any letterhead. So you so say it's fake? So complete, of course, it's dubious validity. I mean, how can somebody say that TV3 has put up a communique mm. when uh, there's no letter on TV3 uh, 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 letterhead mm. that has not been signed by any official of TV3? How can you put that to be a fact? Is and there, is there to state that? capture? Where's, where from that state capture? Now, the mere fact that you say that there's corruption doesn't mean that there's corruption. Because that is your mind. Because the point is that there's no evidence of that. What ought to happen is that, remember, this whole uh, 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 concession arrangement mm. became 
uh, 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 something that as a country we went into because of Ghana's, Ghana's uh, uh, relationship with the U.S. Mm -hmm. and the fact that we're trying to secure some funds to take care of certain aspects of the country. Remember the first uh, compact money that came mm -hmm. in was when during the first time was used for the NY mm -hmm. highway mm -hmm. and subsequent arrangement has been done. Monies have been released for various purposes. The, this concession arrangement was supposed mm -hmm. to give us some money to support our power uh, sector. Okay. And that is why when this issue came out, remember that government said that there's going to be investigation. There have been various investigations. But when what, what this, happened to the report? Of course, those, those things, I'm sure government in the, in the course of time will put them together. But put, put it out there. No, but what no, you ought no, to understand slow, is that... Slow down, slow down for me, bro. No, see, slow, if slow. if you, make, you make this point, I'm sure you can appreciate okay. me. What we ought to appreciate is that government is liaising with uh, MCC. Mm. I hope you're getting me. And to sort of know the way forward. Because mm. obviously we've come to know that indeed the, uh, the, the, the guarantees that were presented has a, lot, a little bit difficulties. I hope you're getting me. Mm. So all those things have been investigated. What, what difficulties are they? How, I mean, how, how, grave, that, how grave are these difficulties I mean, to the I, success I'm, I'm, I'm of the deal? I'm, I'm sure that at the end, the final analysis, when the reports comes around and government makes a full uh, 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 revelation on these matters, deciding the decision that government is taking and what ought to be done. Because the point is that it is not only resting in the bosom of the government. It has to deal with government and MPC. So, so, so that's, that's, so that's what I'm asking. So, My question now, Richard, to you is that they, I kept asking to know who the members of the committee investigated the PDS, uh, you know, whatever, whether fraud or error or mistakes or challenge, whatever you like to call it. Uh, I didn't get it until after the investigations were done, the 30-day probe. Mm -hmm. Now, government is done with the probe, issues a report, and the report, the recommendations in the report are yet to be implemented. And I'm asking you, when are we seeing a strict performance of that report? And, and that's what I'm saying, that he... To safeguard the, the, and settle Ghanaian's minds. You see, government interest is to protect the ECG uh, uh, assets and all the investment that we've made over the years in ECG. That's the interest of government. Secondly, government is also mindful of the fact that there's an arrangement that is uh, 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 between MCC mm. and Ghana and also this concession arrangement. Government is also mindful of the fact that these are banned by laws, and mm. these ought to be done within the confines of the law. But if there's fraud government, in there, I mean, fraud vitiates all, doesn't I, it? I, I appreciate that. Do you understand that? I appreciate that point, but I, the, the, the point is that where is the fraud, fraudulent aspect being spoken of coming from? Because if I tell you, you me, because has government done anything? You see, what people should understand is that if indeed MPP government is culpable in anything, mm. government will not have suspended this. Because government interest is to protect the ECG assets. Uh, so he so so says, you have only announced the suspension, but on the ground, there's no suspension. But I've already given you an indication of what ought to have been done. Mm. And the reason why those things processes were done, by citing even TV3 as an example, give you an indication that in such an arrangement, if the only way you can still have the system run mm. is to find a way around and make sure the ECG assume a, 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 a ownership of all the assets and also take... Uh, uh, in, uh, the, the process that comes on a daily basis into each chest and make sure that they pay all the other power suppliers mm -hmm. and other in individuals in within the sector their due. But you cannot say that the moment that issue cropped up, then you say, okay, you are sucking all individuals who are working in the interest of the country, being how, having been employed by uh, 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 PDS. Remember, these are Ghanaian workers. You, as well. know, you know, so why you look at all these. You, you know why I'm worried, Mr. Sante? I'm worried because the deal we signed with PDS was for them to inject capital into ECG to make sure that it is efficient and it is more productive, correct? Now, not, not only that, PDS well, is to inject capital, it, it was but we were equally uh, expecting other expertise from them. And that also includes money that was supposed to come from mm. uh, the compact, as we have signed with the US. So, and remember, we're dealing with time during those moments. So this money has not come. And then your government finds out that, in fact, they are collecting depositors' money or uh, customers' money from what they buy to, to make up for the money they should have injected, which is why you pull the plugs. If now... I, I think the reason why government pulled the plugs had to do with the fact that we felt that the guarantees, the insurance guarantee that was 
uh, given to uh, ECG, there was a little bit difficulties with that. And we wanted to uh, satisfy ourselves that indeed the interests of the Ghanaian, the interests of ECG assets have been protected. Did PDS bring were, anybody and, at all? And those, of, of course, obviously they are supposed to. But did, remember, did that, they... remember, remember that all these things were supposed to be done over a period of time. Mm. You do not expect that as soon as a, a, a certain company assumes <coughs> uh, the operations or ownership of okay. a particular company, within the span of a moment, all okay. the problems of the company will be solved. But I will know that, indeed, efforts were being made in resolving various difficulties across. And I thought we saw largely a, 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 a better arrangement and also even a better supply of power to the ordinary Ghanaian. Okay. And I think these are the things that no, we need no, to have a bite of But I think before my brother comes in, yeah. what I want us to understand is okay. that there's no letter. And I'm sure you have not, I know you haven't seen that. Mm. If you've seen that letter, I'm sure you'll be, I'll be happy you read it. If you can certify that there's even an arrangement between anybody, that seems to suggest that government is pulling or pushing somebody mm. to have load its shares to another company. I mean, these are things that are the, 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 with the imaginations of uh, Mr. Sheldon Ketia as he decided mm. to push across. Because there's no el element of truth in that. Okay. And you, when you look at the evidence available, you realize that there are you, major difficulties with that. Right. Okay, so uh, good morning to Nana Damwa. He told me last uh, Tuesday that by Friday we will get to know what has become of the report, the JTI report, and others and the, and the uh, PDS matter. So if you see him around, tell him that Friday is here. We're expecting the release from the Ministry of Energy, especially he being spokesperson for the Ministry of Energy. But Nana Damwa is also being speaking. He says if the NDC are taking their time, uh, to even Google and read your report of September 26, they would have known that Miracle is 100% owned by Meridian. Can you imagine a government in waiting that cannot even read to understand before shooting for the hip? NDC is a mistake. You hold a whole press conference to say the whole government is introducing a new company when the company is the owner of Miracle, which has uh, written to Mida. The joint report below reads in part, PDS is a consortium uh, between Morocco through Meridian Power Ventures Limited, 30%, Angola-based firm, Energesia SA, 19%, and a three-time firm, three Ghanaian firms, namely TG Energy uh, Solution, Ghana, 18%, GTS Energy, uh, Ghana Limited, and the TBK Limited. Sami Jamfi is also the National Communications Director of the NDC. He replies, Nana Damwa saying, well, Nana Damwa should stop the jokes and get serious. For the records, whereas Miracle is a Philippine company formed on the 24th of March 1903, Meridian Power Ventures Limited is a company which was incorporated as recently as June uh, 26, 2018 in Hong Kong. The owners of Miracle as listed by uh, Wikipedia as follows, Beacon Electrical, Electric Asset Holding, INC, JG Summit Holding, Metro Pacific Investment, uh, First Philippine Holding, Philippine Utilities and others. Now, it says, note that nowhere in the shareholding of Miracle is Meridian Power Ventures Limited listed as a shareholder to owners of Miracle, as is being suggested by the MPP. It is trite law that the two companies, Miracle on one hand and Meridian on the other hand, uh, differently incorporated are in, in distinct and separate legal personalities. And any person with basic knowledge in company law can appreciate this fact. Maybe what Nana Damwa really meant to say is that Meridian Power Ventures is owned by Miracle and not the other way around. Unfortunately for him, this fact is what uh, accentuates the fraudulent nature of the whole transaction because you can't bid for a contract as a consortium with Miracle as the lead company and on the basis of their technical and financial capacity of Miracle win the bid ahead of their companies and get parliamentary approval for same uh, only to turn around and incorporate new company which was neither part of the bid process or proposes any technical or uh, financial capacity. So he wants to know, he wants to ask, when was Meridian Power Ventures Limited formed? Uh, did Meridian Power Ventures Limited participate in the ECG concession bid process? And what technical or financial capacity did Meridian Power uh, bring to the table? He wants to have, relative to the power distribution, what, what their technical and financial comp competencies are as assessed as part of the bid process, and whether or not Meridian Power Ventures Limited is part of the shareholding uh, structure of PDS as captured by the ECG PDS concession. So many questions, Richard. I'm sure you've noted a few of them, and uh, you respond to, to some. But certainly, take Take a bite quickly on this one and, and let's see if Richard could respond to a few of the questions as put out there. 
you know, when I started, I talked about two things. Mm. Corrupt, I mean, three things. Corruption, dishonesty, and cluelessness. Mm. And for me, the corruption and the dishonesty is not even as, you know, hateful mm. as much as the cluelessness okay. that they show in the explanations that they give. Because when I listen to my brother Richard, mm -hmm. he says, there's no letter. Okay. But ever since we held the press conference and showed a letter from the finance minister mm -hmm. directing shareholders to rearrange the shares, no rebuttal has come. Right. So if you say there's no letter from anywhere, you know, talking about how rearrangement of shares, you see, you see, please, allow him, please, note, note your point so that you can. So, we know, and, and this was after Parliament had approved this shareholding arrangement. Mm. The Minister of Finance was now directing people, you know, who had shares in this, to sit down and do some other arrangement. Okay. Alien or without recourse okay. to Parliament. Okay. That's the first okay. thing. And the dishonesty. The dishonesty. I mean, that's one dishonest, mm. you know, uh, issue that comes, that hits you. The second one, the Minister of Information mm -hmm. held a press conference on the FTI right. report right. and indicated that by the end of August, mm. they were going to make the report public and also announce government action. Mm. Today is what? That's Have you seen the report? <laughs> Have you seen any indication from government as to what they are doing about that report. Mm. Again, I have already made the point that mm. that's third dishonesty. Government announced a suspension mm. that was not carried out. Mm. They announced a suspension that they did not mean, and so it was not carried out Richard, because Richard says a, a day after the a day a day after the suspension till today, mm. PDS has been working. He says they were subcontracted by ECG. How? It was a letter to that effect. How, sure how, that, how can that, a yeah. company that has been suspended because of fraud mm. be awarded a subcontract? No, no, no company. Uh, how? Uh, <laughs> is that not the level? Is that not? That's what I'm saying. When, when, when you offer ex explanations, then the cluelessness hits you. You suspend a company because you suspect that it is fraudulent mm. and turn around and give it a subcontract. Really? What do you take us for? See, then yeah. you talk about. Then you talk about. Uh, the companies being one and the same, mm. Meridian and Miracle. Please, again, another clear case of dishonesty. And I'm happy with the statement you just read from the NCO of the NDC, mm. Sami JV. Miracle, and anybody can do that check, is a company from Philippines, mm. incorporated in 1903, right. 24th March. Right. And list all its other entities. Mm. Check. Google. Go to Wikipedia. Check all the search engines that you know. Nowhere is Meridian listed as one of its, uh, okay. you know, entities. Mm. Nowhere. But what we know is that Meridian was incorporated on 26th June 2018. Okay. In Hong Kong. Mm. And anybody who has some simple knowledge in law knows that these two companies cannot be treated as one and the same. Mm. They are distinct and separate from each other. Okay. And so, Miracle cannot come to Ghana, mm. go through a bid process, okay. win the bid process based on its financial standing and experience and record, mm. as against other companies it went into the bid with, okay. and then transfer it to Meridian, which is a different company which did not go through any bid process. It did not compete with the others. I mean, if perhaps Meridian had come with its own balance sheet as a separate company as it is, perhaps they would not have won this contract. <coughs> but you see, the fraud did not even start from the detection of the Minister of Energy mm. when he announced the reason for suspending PDS, which never really even took effect. The fraud started as far back as the process of even selecting a, concession, a concessionaire. Okay. When the whole process was so flawed that very reputable companies had to drop out, 
some of them had to challenge the process in court mm -hmm. and lost in court under circumstances that they were not happy with, mm -hmm. but had to respect. That is why I talk of a deliberate conscious attempt by friends, family members, and neighbors. Mm -hmm. Because at least we are told one is no longer a friend and it's just a neighbor. So it's his friends, family members, and neighbors who have come together mm. to gang up to annex ECG as a private entity okay. for their own benefit, whether they are in government or not. And that is why, as Ghanaians, we must rise up to resist this state capture. Where do we go from here? We okay. must, as a country, mm. abrogate this contract to start with. Without the consequences in mind? Listen, the, all the conditions precedents have been violated. In fact, the Minister of Energy was the first to announce fraud. Mm. And fraud vitiates all. Mm. So the first thing to do is to abrogate the contra contract and start afresh. We can then decide if we want to still go the concessionaire way okay. or we want to do private you know, participation. So we must have a fresh start okay. to secure our national asset mm. and to guarantee you know, quality service of power Irres in this country. Irrespective. And also to attract Irres investments. Because you see, Johnny, this whole thing mm. is making power players hold back, mm. hedge. Mm. Because it is so murky, it's uncertain, that they may not be too sure of the safety of their investments. I irrespective, so it is critical. If, if we're doing a fresh start, irrespective of the fact that we're trying to push a Ghanaian interest, if we decide to wipe everything off their investments and everything becomes useless we have set them back so many years in their business that's a school of thought on the streets that says look uh, you can't throw the baby away with the bath water johnny, let's save our local business johnny yes let's save our local business but not fraudulent one fraudulent ones i am for all the saving of local businesses but not fraudulent ones and clearly by the incorporation of pds and all the partners involved, we have already gone into it in other discussions where we mm. talked about how some of the companies mm. were simply picked from the shelves, dusted for this deal, where it had no experience whatsoever. Okay. Richard. So you don't, you don't, that's what I'm saying, it is state capture by friends, family, and neighbors. Okay. Richard, step in for me. I think you want to respond to a few of the sessions are unfounded. And I'm not sure that anybody will take that serious, that mm. government intends so. to. Of course, because these are songs that you continue to sing, the NDC continue to, okay. to, to sing out there. And I think the ordinary Ghanaian understand what mm. government is trying to do. Because if you look at a government that really cares about the people and also cares about protecting the okay. interests of the ordinary Ghanaian, then NPP ought to be number one. In terms of this arrangement, remember that this ECG concession arrangement started from during the NDC era. Yes. Mm. And I and had opportunity of playing, of who told you? I had opportunity of playing active roles through uh, activism in mm. these whole affairs, through mm. petitions and through some friends going to court and all that, on this particular matter. So I understand and I really understand what really transpired and what has gone on over the mm. period. And I must tell you that in terms, of, in terms of this government's effort and what government has done over the period, it's just to secure the asset of ECG, to make sure that at least the whole arrangement is about board. And that has been the effort that government is putting in. One, this belief about uh, family and friends, you know, there's mm. nothing like that in there. There isn't? There's nothing like that. I mean, right. Uh, 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 Johnny. Uh, Johnny, let, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. Tell me. What did the NDC do? During the NDC time, Ghana was not going to have, Ghanaians were not going to be in the majority shares, uh, shareholders in the company. Mm. We're literally given the entire 80, thing. 80-20. Yes, 80-20. 80-20. Okay, 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 please. Allow, please allow, 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 80-20. 80-20. Mm. This government came in and said, you, you know what, we cannot dispose of our strategic assets like ECG. And to the extent that we only have 20% of it. Mm. So we make sure that uh, Ghanaians would have at least over 50% of that. Mm. And government made sure that at least through that process, Ghanaian companies that had well without and they were ready to invest in this area have that uh, percentage. The, remember that this, uh, this, are we, this are we, are we was to push in was to push in in excess of 580 million into this whole. Are we, are we better off under the present circumstances? 
in terms of what is what has been done yes, so far, yes. are of we, course, are we better off? of course, there will be issues, there are difficulties. And that's why I said, I mean, this aspect about there's something fraudulent, it's only called that proof that something has been fraudulent and somebody has done something fraudulent in this whole enterprise. We can talk about suspicion of something that had not gone well. Okay. And that is why government said, you know, based on all these difficulties, okay. we are suspending it. If indeed MPP has any hands or government seeks to sort of acquire this ECG mm. and, and on, own it to itself, like the NDC want Ghanaians to believe, then there wouldn't be any suspension. What what there is the what, what, what is the financial what is the financial and technical and technical capacity of Meridian, who is now going to be at the forefront? Is it, is it, I, I, would, I, I don't I don't even get where this is coming from. Where Meridian is going to be at the forefront? Okay. Because there's nothing to that effect. What we know is that uh, uh, the interest. Uh, Meridian has interest in um, Morocco. Mm. As to how it happened, I'm not part of that enterprise. Okay. So I'm not going to be their spokesperson. But what I know is that right from the scratch, I remember I read letters to you, I read reportage to you, dating back be, uh, be, before this whole allegation okay. came up, indicating, and if you want to go beyond the shores of this country, mm. there are uh, publication and, and stock announcement that has given evidence to the fact that indeed there's a, a relationship between Meridian and, and Morocco. And these are the facts. Okay. But the mere fact that a political party goes to sort of do press conference, mm. castigating, raining insults and insinuations, and, and creating the, the, that non-existent, mm. fraudulent, and calling family and friends. But the point is that who is the family here? Who is the friend here? These are Ghanaian businessmen who are participating in business arrangements. Is, this is not tantamount to an individual, say maybe a, mm. a former president, saying that I'm giving about 50 plus percent of our boss reserve to a brother. Okay. There's no arrangement like that. So, this is so, a, an arrangement that certain Ghanaian companies and individuals who have lived their lives above board over the period and have participated in businesses okay. and they were interested in this. Richard, I'll get him. respond to this quickly for me. So government has the report. When are you implementing your own findings? And recommendations I, I, earlier of, on, I, of I gave an indication that indeed it is not as straight as you would want to uh, 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 portray to the viewers. How, how do you mean? Because the point is that this consortium, uh, 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 this arrangement exists between various companies mm. that has the interest of the United States to the M MCC. So we have so no control. The government at the moment is having. Very so we have discussions. no control no. of our own like no, no, assets. The asset currently is in the chest of government and ECG. That is why the the the, 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 the suspension uh, there's this the suspension. And now this suspension, what we will do further is that we are having there's there been various reports, there've been various investigative reports. Government is having discussions with uh, the reports the have recommendations. Yes, and I'm saying that are you implementing the recommendations. Of course, those the recommendations report. and the discussion that is being held because remember there were two reports. What, what's keeping you remember from, there were from, two reports. from from remember there were two reports? No, no, Richard, what's keeping you from implementing the recommendations of a report that you yourself have produced? But who is saying that there's something is preventing government from implementing? When were, when was the when was the investigation done? I mean. It's been, it's been done for some time, and but it's not gone past months. Do you understand that? And I'm telling you and that you, th you there's think it's, you think it's I mean, okay. No, I'm, I'm telling you there's further discussion that is ongoing. Okay. And All right. Are no, no, you, 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 come, no, no, you, ba you balance. You please write. Please write it. We can't keep the lady waiting. I beg you. Yes. Uh, let's hear them. From the top, the biggest problem we have in Ghana is the NDC. Whether in power or opposition, uh, propaganda has been their game. If they have done half of what NPP has done. Ghana wouldn't be where we are today. Ilyasu Haruna from Sakai, Sisala East Municipal uh, says that. Um, when the facts are told, MPP says it's propaganda. Ghanaians are watching and listening. That's from Jex in Sakaradi. <laughs> Prince Henry Kofor from Koforidia says, Good morning, Johnny. Government has been caught pants down on the PDS deal once again. The PDS deal has been initiated in an opaque manner since this government took over power from the NDC and JDM in 2017. Too much scandals, too many any scandals under this government and Ghanaians must reject them come 2020. Good morning, TV3. Nanado and his government have, have nothing to offer Ghanaians than to bring hardship on us. They only came to loot and share. Look at the bus issue. They have looted $5 million um, dollars, and they still want to steal us steal from us through the ECG, the biggest property of our mother Ghana. NPP must go for JM to come with uh, good governance by Nyameche Daniel from Sampa Jaman North. 
the MPP, um, it, the, the MPP man in your studio is so confused and doesn't seem to know his way around the PDS debacle. Why can't government make the reports of its own uh, investigations public? In fact, the board of Miralco is planning to pull out, and yet you have uh, a government try to do this. God help us. That's from Berima uh, Kubaji in Jinjini. Jinjini. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I can't see you. Jini, Jini. Good morning. FPDS was suspended for breaching the contract. Does the company still have the right to hold on to some assets of ECG as the government is making us believe? I'm sad for my country, Ghana. Hi, Johnny. I want to ask Richard about the money that they collected from Ghanaians as they started operations. Our money cannot stay in their account while they are on suspension from mainstream operations from Kojo Mampong. Maybe you can lose that. Mm. From uh, DJ O'Malley and, uh, in Wayosi Guaso. Um, Ex-President Mahama and NDC are on a uh, fishing expedition. PDS and Isutrari uh, training is all propaganda. NABCO beneficiaries are grateful to President Anak Akufuado. Greetings from Honorable Martin AJ. Uh, greetings to Honorable Martin AJ Mensa Kosa, Deputy Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development. Good morning, TV3, and happy 22nd anniversary, and good morning, Ghana. It is very clear without any definition or whatever, is, uh, whatever it could take to know that they are, proper, are property-owning Democrats <laughs> by all means me strategically <coughs> did we get that yeah. is it uh, amazing it is amazing that nana adodan kwaku fuado's government is bent on this philosophy and take ecg as one of such strategies let us continue to pray until something happens so that's from koklovi uh, dabala good morning tv3 please johnny tell the ceo of napco to stop using uh, their usually rhetorics and um, their usual rhetorics and pay trainees of the mega stipends, pardon me, stipends. How many times have they asked trainees to update our portals only for them to ignore us and claim it's the fault of trainees? Meanwhile, when the moon dies, the, um, they run ahead and pay themselves. Ghanaians thought it was to leverage the youth of their suffering, not knowing it's rather worsening their plights. John from Bogatanga says, and the last comment for this morning, for this section. Uh, good morning, Johnny. This NPP guy is suffering. Hmm. This government is like one person was indirectly not in use. Our leaders are not serious at, at all. Hmm. That's uh, Kwame Nkrumah will cry. Benji at Michelle Camp says. Christoph, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Suhini, so, so, take, take a one minute and then let's look at NAPCO at one guess, year. Yes, I just want to make an appeal to my brother Richard, mm. not to see this as MPP versus NDC. Mm. This is about protecting a critical national asset. Mm. And that is why his colleague, Richard Asante, mm. who is a member of his party, mm. is on the side. I mean, I say Richard Asante, Richard Nyama, his okay. colleague. Richard Nyama, Richard yeah. Nyama mm. is on the side of the state. Mm. That is being on the side, and on the side of you know, uh, the, the correct side of history. Richard okay. Nyama is his colleague in the MPP. Mm. So he shouldn't say NDC hold press conferences and talk. Richard Nyama is a member of the communication team of the NPP. Uh, 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 and he has held a press conference together with other mm. bodies to also criticize this deal and even provided further information to the effect that indeed PDS and others use fraudulent letterheads mm. of PURC and the Energy Commission in this whole transaction. That is not NDC. The okay. energy minister. No, 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 please, can I? My brother is confusing the issues. You want to finish up? And 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 the and energy minister. The energy minister, Mr. Amewu, is not a member of the NDC. Mm. He was first to announce fraud mm. in this whole transaction. Again, the energy minister, we have information only last week, was in Manila to meet with Miracle. Mm. Why? The claim was that. I mean, Miracle because of fraud, out. because of, of this whole fraudulent deals. Mm. But we will provide the details, you know, as and when, you know. Thank uh, you. But, thank but you if you would just much. permit, you know, you, 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 you just, one minute, one minute is okay. 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 Thank, you, Johnny, thank you very much. Ten, brother, 10 seconds, because we need to talk about NAPCO. Confusing the issues. No, the issue that is talking about it is not fair. If we are not talking about NAPCO, then let me continue. No, we talk about NAPCO. We are talking about NAPCO. No, no, no. I need to just explain. You also made a number of allegations. Okay, thank you. Let me be fair. Let me be fair. Let me be fair. I think this is reason. No, listen. Richard, it will be unfair to allow you. No, I didn't say something that I needed to know. I still had other things to respond to. I beg you. I still had other things to respond to. Don't do that. No, 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 no. No, listen, listen. It is not, it is not. Let me come out to it. You know, it's not educating our listeners. During the era of President Trump. Okay, yesterday, yesterday at the Accra International Conference Center, 
the president of the republic addressed a gathering that's uh, celebrating one uh, full year of the exploits of the nation builders core and um, the the nation builders core as we as we know is the mpp's initiative or this government's initiative to create jobs for 100,000 young people in this country and uh, we want to start with uh, you richard See, tell, tell me quickly uh, uh, and i'll give you your time what you decide to do with your time yes. is your own matter so how, how many okay. minutes are you i'm giving you two minutes because okay. we are I'll use 30 seconds time. to clear okay something, then, uh, let's talk about napco at one okay i think the issue he raised about uh fraudulent letters mm. and also purporting and and, and 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 purporting to be one company when you are not happy during the ndc era that's why you remember I talked about writing petition no. to mm. U.S. Congress and also pet petition no. President Obama no. on this particular matter, no. this concession arrangement when we were in opposition. I remember those times. What happened was that the IFT, International mm. Financial Corporation, they were the transactional advisors for this whole arrangement. Mm. What they did was that they won. Mm. Instead of allowing uh, 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 the, uh, 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 the various state institutions, Energy Commission, and also other state bodies to do what will ought to be done. Mm -hmm. They were assuming that responsibility and putting letters out and forging documentations okay. to that effect. So those things that Richard Nyama had okay. said in any press conference had to do with the time MPP came to. You have one so minute there was more. difficulty from that era before now. You have one minute more. Thirty seconds. You okay, have so used let's, one let's minute. To, let's come please. to the uh, this thing. Uh, I think one of the greatest uh, 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 achievements that I think every well-meaning Ghanaian ought to applaud this government ought mm. to be this NAPCO. Indeed, we all know that there will be challenges. But the point is that a government that takes a bolder decision to find a moment of respite for mm. a teeming youth, where we have in excess of uh, four or 500,000 Ghanaian com having completed various tertiary institutions and sitting in the house not doing anything. It was better government finds a stock gap measure okay. for such individuals who will contribute their quota in building the nation Thank you. and also having something Great that they can live on. Thank you. And I think Thank that you. if this thing has been done in the past, Thank you. we will not have all your the time is up. And all Thank you very much. Thank, you. Your, Thank you. Your time is up. Thank you. Your time is up. You need to respect the platform. You need to respect the platform. You need to respect the platform. You no, don't, you, you don't, no, I'm being fair to you. Because it is you 58. Me, so you gave me 30 seconds. It is 58. On. Okay. And you know, Sweeney, you Sweeney, know, step in for me. Know, Let's talk about you know, NAPCO at what, one. Again, 100,000 people, uh, that's what was promised. So I also have two minutes. I'll decide how Yes. Thank okay. you, Johnny. Now, to the, the, the talk of dishonesty that I keep referring you to. You are using again, your time. Yes, again, okay. shows clearly in his attempt to correct what didn't need correction. I mean, Richard Nyama's press conference, I'll just read the first two paragraphs. The coalition of stakeholders on electricity contracts and arrangements has added its voice to uh, accusations of fraud against Millennium Development Authority in the PDS ECG mm. concession agreement. At the public stakeholders forum in Accra Wednesday, Richard Nyama, the forum's convener, said MIDA, the institution in charge of Millennium Challenger in Ghana, and it is supposed to supervise ECG concession agreement. That ended up with the PDS. I just want to read the relevant file. I said the government of Ghana made a shocking announcement. No, One that's not more. It. The PDS had been responsible mm. for managing the retail and distribution of business and all. I mean, it states categorically, but because of time, mm. where PDS... Allow him listen, to have listen, his time. Listen, but the no, government no, no, cited... No, 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 allow him to have his time. No, it was a deal here. No, no, 30, 30 seconds more. Yeah, now, Napco. 30 seconds more. Napco, mm. listen. We have 1.5 million Ghanaians who have lost permanent jobs that used to pay them over 2,000 Ghana cities okay. under this regime. And that is according to the GCC, One point. the G GSS. 1.5 million Ghanaians, according to their record, have lost permanent jobs mm. that guaranteed them pension. But what were they working? Today, you celebrate NAPCO that you don't even pay regularly. And Thank just you. like some of the Thank text you. messages well, well, have shown, it only, it only points to the cluelessness Thank you. But what and the dishonesty the of this company. Thank you. Even the public sector, Richard, the number of Richard, people, Richard, they Richard, have when, when, are they, when are they getting their monies? And, and that, that, that message that was I read by Chris Saul keeps coming up seeing. every time. They I tell share, you, they, share, and, share and, hold on, let, let me finish my yeah. question. So they say you ask them to register. You ask them to go into a certain online portal. They do that. The money doesn't happen. They wait. The money doesn't happen. They wait. The money doesn't happen. What I, is I happening? Think I, I would have loved if he said he waits, not they wait. No, he is not the see, only one who's been sending I know, this. I know, I know, see, this, this, this one is a regular no, no, feature on our show. Not by this same yes. texter. You know. What I'm saying is that 
I understand that in terms of payment of allowances and even sometimes salaries, organization and even government as a, a, a bigger uh, uh, institution sometimes mm. delays and there will be natural difficulties that confront some of these institutions okay. in terms of making due their, 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 their part of the bargain. Okay. But in terms of this arrangement, I know that there were individuals too, there was um, uh, some difficulty with them in terms of the information and details they provided. But I know that they, they, have, corrected, of them they have, have corrected been paid. it. They have but corrected everybody it. who has not been paid, I think what the person can be assured of is that mm. because over the months they have been paid. So if there's a, a, a month or two that mm. they are Step stipends have uh, been held in abeyance. They should still uh, keep on to feet and continue contributing their, their, their efforts. Can they the blow trumpets on an empty things, stomach? This, of, I understand you. This money should be paid. Remember, half a loaf was, but is better than none. Mm -hmm. When they were sitting in the house over the over the period, when they were sitting in the house over the period, nothing was coming to okay. their kitty. Mm -hmm. But now there's a government and a president who cares about the people okay, and said, so "Let me put in thank something you, that so can you help you." They should keep on keeping on. So the money will come to them. So you need to take take. Okay, let me be fair. Take 30 seconds. Really? He says, he says uh, <laughs> they should keep on the keeping on. And that the happen. money will come and they should You still wait. want to read the non-existing no, evidence. It's, 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 no, no, no. no, no. If you are going to read PDS, we're not talking. No, no, no. Thank you. The Honorable Alhassan Suhini is the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's been here on the ticket of the NDC. And also, Mr. Richard Asante is the Deputy National Communications Director of the uh, MPP. <laughs> oh, but what about that? When you gave me 30 time, seconds, you came in and you took time. back the 30 you seconds from me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Let's say a happy 87th birthday to Mrs. Mary Na Denswa Ashi Ni Ankra. Uh, you were born on the 19th of October and uh, we wish you long life and prosperity from all your children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren home and abroad. They say they love you and they give God all the glory uh, for your life. 87 years on this earthly plane. Also to you, Mr. George Nikwe, it's your birthday today. Uh, happy birthday to you. At 9 a.m. this morning, we're having a conversation on Community Connect on 3FM 92.7 and we're asking you to assess your assembly man or assembly woman as they get ready to come to you again for another mandate. We want you to assess them. Have they been accessible? Have they been transparent? Have they been innovative? Have they worked in your interest? We want to know from you what it is that uh, your assemblyman has done and also what it is that you consider before you go to the polls uh, later this year to elect another assembly member. I'll see you after the break. But Bella has a very interesting conversation that I think you should be interested in. Maybe I should ask uh, the, the gentleman in the studio, Coco, permit me one minute. So, really, so you, you have a wife, um, and you've been your, with your wife for, for all these years. You, are, you have a very great sex life. All of a sudden, she has cancer. Her breasts are cast off, which used to be your center of attraction. Would you stay, would you go? I mean, it is for better or for worse. So okay. if it is worse, you have no reason using that to go. Mm. It's for better, for worse. So you will stay? It's for better, for worse. So you will stay? I mean, losing a breast, I don't consider it to be worse. Okay. Richard, and would you stay? Even if I will stay because of worse. God forbid in the first place, but okay. to I think has happened, you are forbidden. No, no, no. I mean, so in the, in, it should be, like, it will not happen in my it life. It means it is a center of attractiveness. So you can just imagine how it will be lost. God forbid. <laughs> but I, I, I share those difficulties and concerns because the point is that, I mean, you ought to understand that if. The breast is not the only sexual uh, aspects within the. That is what attracts you. That there ought to be other things that would do attract you know a man. Do you know what prostate cancer has done to men? Yeah. So, who are living with their wives yeah. and their wives are yeah. in the already. Yeah. yeah. So at, and in is. such moments, uh, will you stay? Will you go? Obviously, you have to stay. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> Who says that the, one, the new breast you're going can also be attacked? Anyway, thank you very if much. The are under siege, then it could be everywhere. Okay. So we just stay on and, and help her through the situation. I see you. Uh, well.